let's play a game. I'll be like the guy, I'll be Jigsaw, like, let's play a game. Spoiler warning, I was the corpse in the back of the room the whole time. Sorry to ruin the movie for you. But spoiler warning, that was me. Um, but let's play a game. Let's return to our episode where we ask the question of who has more Spotify listeners. But this time, we will focus on one-hit wonders. Everyone's favorite topic. Everybody loves talking about one-hit wonders. So that's what we'll do today. We will guess which one-hit wonder has the most Spotify listeners. I compiled a list. If you guys have some ideas, let me know. What we'll do is we will pick two bands and then we will guess which one hit wonder has more Spotify listeners. First of all, we have uh, Lit and Weedus. How about that? Now the interesting thing about one hit wonders is that a lot of these one hit wonders have more listeners than you might think. Lit versus Weedus. I think Lit and Weedus are both great. So you know Weedus for Teenage Dirtbag, right? And Lit was my own worst enemy. I, I think Lit is a great band. Weedus, I feel like, is a little bit overrated. I agree with this. Weedus because of TikTok. I think Weedus is going to be bigger too. Lit is the better band in my opinion, but uh, Dirtbag is a bigger song. I think Dirtbag is like one of these cross-generational songs that even like Zoomers know. I don't think Zoomers know Lit. So I'm going to say that Weedus has 4 million monthly listeners. That's my guess. And that Lit has 2 million. That's my guess. Let's see. But before we go any further, this is the part where I ask you to follow me on Twitch. I am streaming twice a week from 4 to 7 p.m. Pacific on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And think of it like hanging out at Denny's after a show. What the fuck is up, Denny's? Except you are with a couple hundred of your best friends. Check it out at the link in the description of this video. And I hope to see you there. Lit. 2.6 million. Okay, I was close. Lit coming in at 2.6 million. Weedus, what did I say? 4 million? Let's see. Weedus, 4.3 million. Damn, I'm good. Damn, I'm good. Because I was very wrong on the last edition of this. I, I was very wrong. And now look at the fall off here. Uh, Teenage Dirtbag has 468 million plays. Their next song has 14 million. That's the fall off we're talking about here. Four of their top five songs are different versions of Teenage Dirtbag. I'm not putting that down, by the way. Like, respect. I think Weedus actually did the smart thing, and they've never cared about having another hit. All they want to do is just make a living playing music they like, which they've been able to do. So they did it. They did the thing that you're supposed to do, which is to take your success as a one-hit wonder and turn that into a career. There it is. So I called that one. How about Afro Man? versus new boys afro man best known for uh then i got high <laughs> new boys best known for your jerk you remember those i was surprised i called afro man a one hit wonder in a video about one hit wonders and people got very mad people insisted that he's not a one hit wonder they were like oh he had this song and this song I, I don't know i mean i feel like the only song people know is then i got high so i i feel like he was definitely a one-hit wonder and then new boys you know them for uh you're a jerk so i feel like they're both solidly one-hit wonders i'm pretty sure afro man is much more popular than new boys i feel like new boys people know you're a jerk but uh i i feel like afro man is definitely gonna be bigger i'm gonna go with eight million listeners for afro man and i will go with like 1 million for new boys. Let's see. New boys. Not even a million. 727,000. Oh, I forgot they had a song with Ray J and with Chris Brown. They had a lot of big features. Still only good for 727,000 monthly listeners. Afro Man. What did I say? 4 million for Afro Man? Let's see. Afro Man. Let's see. Yeah, 3.5 million. There we go. Uh, crazy. Oh, interesting. Crazy rap is actually a bigger song has more plays than because I got high. So perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps I'm maybe he did. have. I don't know this song. Wait a minute, man. Hey, check this out, man. Tell it. It was this blind man, right? Let's let's hear this. You like that shit, man? I don't I don't think I know this song. Yeah, I, I don't know this song. Okay, well, there we go. Turns out I was wrong. He is apparently not a one-hit wonder. Apparently, he is a two-hit wonder. Who knew? All right. Next, how about American Hi-Fi? You remember them? They had Flavor of the Week. Do you guys remember that one? Great song. 
I love this song. Yeah, it's awesome. Remember this song? Some real rock and roll. Um, so American Hi-Fi and um, SR-71. How about that? You remember SR-71? Right here, or what is it? Right now. Yeah, right now. It's tough because they're basically the same band, right? American Hi-Fi is the rich man's SR-71. I'm going to say that SR-71 has more. And uh, I feel like these songs probably live on in some, like, you know, best songs of the two, you know, hot rockers of the 2000s playlist. So I feel like both of these bands probably have more listeners than we might think. I'm going to say SR-71 has 2 million and American Hi-Fi has 1 million. That's what I'm going to guess. American Hi-Fi, yep, 746,000. Okay, lower, look at that. This is the reality, you know, 75 million plays on this song. Of course, it was 20 years ago. Still, I would have thought a little bit more than that, but uh, 746,000, okay. And what did I say? I said 2 million for SR-71, is that right? Let's see. Wow, okay, an upset here, people, an upset. SR-71 coming in at 655,000. An upset. Who knew, people? Who knew? Both under a million. I was kind of surprised because usually with these 2000s one-hit wonders, like Drowning Pool, they're not really a one-hit wonder, but like Drowning Pool probably has like 5 million or some shit. But of course, there's still a band. 3.8 million. So it's, it's kind of surprising how much mileage a lot of these like older 2000s artists get out of like one or two songs kind of surprising i would have thought that sr71 or american hi-fi would have uh would have had more but there we go both under a million oh yellow card and hoobastank yeah yellow card versus hoobastank how about that what do you guys think yellow card versus hoobastank okay you guys think yellow card i think hoobastank is bigger i will bet you all one million dollars that hoobastank has more monthly listeners than yellow card um, I think Yellow Card is a much better band, but I will bet you all $1 million. If I'm wrong, I owe every single one of you $1 million if I'm wrong. And if I'm right, you guys all owe me $1 million. So get your, get your Bitcoin ready. You're going to owe me a lot of money when I reveal this. Um, so let's see. Yellow Card, Ocean Avenue, their biggest song, obviously. 3.8 million, and they are still an active band. 3.8 million. I bet you Hoobastank is going to be like five or six million. And if I'm wrong, I owe you all a million dollars. Let's see. What's it going to be, people? Who's going to owe who? Somebody's going to be paying out a lot of money in a minute. Look at that, people. Nine million listeners for Hoobastank. All of you pay the fuck up, motherfuckers. Pay up. I hope you guys are ready to be financially ruined. This is what it feels like to be wrong, motherfuckers. I'm going to put my bank account and social security number in the chat so that you guys can send me your money, okay? So just look in the chat for my bank account information. I'll put my password in there also for my online banking just to make it easier for you. So look in the chat for that information and, and I'll just be waiting. I expect by the time this stream is over, I expect the money to be in my account. So look, you see... Hoobastank has uh, quite a few songs that are pretty popular. The reason the most popular one, but uh, 9 million listeners. Who? Who are the 9 million people listening to Hoobastank? That's my question. Who are these 9 million people? I don't know, but they're out there. Fountains of Wayne and the Darkness. You guys remember Stacy's Mom, of course, right? By Fountains of Wayne versus the darkness i would say i think it's going to be fountains of wayne i know the darkness you know they have their fans definitely a cult band but i think fountains of wayne's probably quite a bit bigger i mean stacy's mom is like a, a a real like crossover hit i feel like you know your uncool aunt knows stacy's mom the darkness i'm not so sure so i will go with four million for fountains of wayne and two million for the darkness Four million for Fountains of Wayne, two million for the Darkness. That's my guess. Okay, three point two for Fountains of Wayne. And by the way, they are a great band. They have so many great. Stacy's mom, obviously, they're hit, but they have they have a great a lot of great songs. Now, the Darkness. I, what did I say? Two million for the Darkness. One point eight million. I'm getting good. My batting average on our first installment of this was bad. I was wrong about a lot of these, uh, but I've, I feel like I found my mojo people i found it i got my mojo um by the way the singer of uh the darkness justin hawkins 
has uh, a very good YouTube channel called Justin Hawkins Rides Again. And uh, he's really funny, very talented musician, and a good YouTuber. So check it out if you haven't. They're good. And he's a very talented guy. How about from the rap side of things? Bobby Schmurda. You guys remember him? Hot N-word. Hot, hot. One of the best beats of all time. And then he went to prison. He got out of prison, what? A year and a half ago, something like that? What a beat. One of the best beats of all time. Legendary beat. One of the first uh, kings of self-snitching. So a lot of the lyrics in this song are about crimes that him and the other guys in the video committed. And then he promptly got arrested for being too hot and did what, six years or something like that? Like he, he did some serious time and then he just got out and uh, really couldn't ever make a comeback. Sad, sad story of a man who played himself. And what about Mims is our other one. Do you guys remember Mims? This is why I'm hot. You guys remember this song? Uh, this is why I'm hot. Also this a great beat. I have no idea what happened to this guy. Okay, I'm going to say Bobby Shmurda. This is why I'm hot. I feel like they probably play it at like minor league basketball games or something like that now. But he has like no currency. Bobby Shmurda at least has some currency. He's like tried to kind of make a comeback and stuff and did the interview, the DJ Vlad circuit and stuff. So I'm going to say that Bobby Shmurda, just on the strength of that song, because rap has, is so good for streaming. I'm going to say Bobby Shmurda has like 6 million monthly listeners. And I'm going to say Mims has like under a million. That's my guess. Let's see. Mims, I'm going with under a million. Yep, 570,000 monthly listeners for your man, Mims. He is no longer hot. Bobby Shmurda, what did I say? 6 million, something like that. Let's see. Bobby Shmurda coming in at 2.5 million. Okay, so I was very wrong about uh, Bobby Shmurda's numbers, but I was correct that uh, the hot friend is doing a lot better than Mims in the streaming numbers. So there we go. Bobby Shmurda still 2.5 million monthly listeners on the strength of hot n-word from uh whatever from eight years ago how about okay battle of the white men how about this house of pain and crazy town how about that how about that house of pain and crazy town battle of the loked out white boys i'm gonna say that house of pain you guys remember house of pain jump around right yeah i'm gonna say house of pain is bigger because um everlast has been a little bit more a active jump around is huge I'm going to say House of Pain, 5 million. Just based on playlists alone for Jump Around. Playing at your local minor league basketball game. That's my guess. Um, I'm going to say 5 million for House of Pain. And I'm going to say Crazy Town. I don't know. Butterfly is a big fucking song. I'll say like, I'll say 2 million for Crazy Town. Okay, House of Pain coming in at 3.7 million. Yeah, their biggest song is indeed Jump Around. Salutations, I remember that one. Um, Top of the Morning too. that was okay too. You know, House of Pain, actually not bad. Very white, but actually actually not bad. So 3.7 million for House of Pain. And what did I say? 2 million for Crazy Town? Let's see. I want Crazy Town to come in with the upset. You guys know how much I love Crazy Town. I'm rooting for my man Shifty. I know he's uh, fallen on some hard times recently. Um, but, uh, let's see crazy town at 3.2, a close one, a close one. It's a buzzer beater crazy town, just barely losing to house of pain. Just barely a buzzer beater. People respectable performance. When you hear jump around, you automatically grow goatee and fight people in the street. It's true. It's true. You can't help it. Only if you're white, if you're white, you can't resist it. Trapped versus Alien Ant Farm. Okay, that's a good one. I'm going to say um, Trapped. I bet Trapped has like 3 million listeners. Let's see. Because Headstrong was a big song. Some of their other songs were actually bigger than you might think. Um, so I'm going to say Trapped was bigger. 2.2 million. Okay. Alien Ant Farm. I'm going to say, yeah, Alien Ant Farm is a much better band. Um, but they didn't, you know, uh, Smooth Criminal was their big hit. I'm going to go with 1 million for Alien Ant Farm. Maybe, yeah, maybe even, maybe even under. Wow, three, wow, wow. So two versions of Smooth Curl. Look at that, people. Look at that. Finally, Justice won. Justice for Alien Ant Farm. I'm happy to be wrong. Happy to be wrong that Alien Ant Farm came from behind to beat the boys in Trapped. 
But you know what? Trapped, they're killing it on Pandora. So he doesn't even care. Yeah, fine. You you won the battle, Alien Ant Farm, but I won the Pandora War. That's what uh, crazy guy from uh, Trapped is saying. How about uh, Len versus Chumbawamba? You guys know Len for Steal My Sunshine, right? I love that song. I'm going to say that Len is bigger because Steal My Sunshine is still a song that people listen to. It's like a, you know, Steal My Sunshine, is I think, is like a, a timeless summer kind of song that people will always love. I'm going to say they've got 2 million monthly listeners based just on um, Steal My Sunshine. That's my guess. 1.2 million. Okay. A little lower than I would thought. Every bar plays Chumbawamba when they're closing. I don't... I. I don't think so. Also, Chumbawamba's songs are all terrible, aside from Tub Thumping. But we'll see. I could be wrong. Let's see. Chumbawamba coming in at two. Oh, okay. Okay. Chumbawamba coming in at two million. So Chumbawamba did indeed win. How about um, Tattoo versus Baja Men? How about that? Tattoo versus Baja Men. You remember Tattoo, the Russian fake lesbians, all the things she said? I'm going to say that Tattoo is coming in at uh, 2 million. Weirdly still popular. That's my guess. I'm going to say Tattoo at 2 million, and I'm going to say Baja Men is like 8 million. That's what I think. I bet Baja Men has a shockingly high number of monthly listeners, just based purely on who let the dogs out that nobody likes. <laughs> nobody likes that song other than like literal children, like third graders. That's it. Let's see. Tattoo... 4.8 million people, 4.8 million. Who were the 4.8 million people listening to Tattoo? Oh, they're on TikTok. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. It must be TikTok. Now let's see uh, Baja Men. Who let the dogs out? Baja Men, let's see. Can they beat 4.8 million? That is uh, 1.1 million. Okay, they lost to the fake lesbian Russians. Yes. Now, uh, the great thing about tattoo is that now they're homophobic pro Putin, uh, political activists, homophobic pro Putin activists. <laughs> That's what's become of them. So there it is. People, another edition of who has more Spotify listeners this time, everybody's favorite topic, one hit wonders. And there it is. I hope you guys are ready to be financially ruined.